Hey guys, this is LEGO Master 99 again, back with another video. And today I'm going to be giving a tutorial to you guys on how to create um, the smiley face program that you've seen in the Red Circuit Computer version 4.0 um, showcase video. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to be able to create programs and compile programs in Arcus, you will need two things. The first thing you'll need is the latest version of the core compiler, which in this case is revision 1.5 alpha. And you will also need the latest revision of the uploader program, which in this case for me is version 1.1 alpha. And you can find all of these downloads in the Bitbucket repository. <clears throat> and two other things that are very useful for program development are um, the Notepad++ IDE for, for Arcus. So basically it is a Notepad++ installation with the Arcus version 1.0 stylers installed. And also the um, Arcus version 1.0 uh, specification manual. Now this basically has all of the information for um, every single function that and capability that Arcus version 1.0 has to offer. And once you have all those things, you can start programming. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so this program is a little unique and different from the other programs in regards that it uses the Red Circuit Computer 4.0's um, display, and I have the world opened up here. And essentially what the Smiley Face program does is that it draws two dots for the eyes, and then it draws two, and then it draws a mouth that looks something like that. I don't know if you can see my uh, representation here. I might try to draw it in here, but there'll be a dot, a dot, and then the Smiley Face like that. And so, um, yeah, this takes advantage of the Red Circuit Computer 4.0's display, and to be able to use those features in Arcus, we will have to do a few special things. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by creating our program. So we're going to open up a new instance of Notepad++ here. Let's go ahead and resize this, and then I'm going to um, save this as, let's see here, Redstone Computer 40 Smiley Face Program, that's TXT. Now we're going to want to apply our stylers and then add in the compile target um, inclusion here. Not inclusion, we just need to include the compile target indicator to let the compiler know that this is indeed an Arcus source file. And since we are using GPU um, instructions here in our program to draw the smiley face, what we're going to need to do is import the Redstone Computer 40 extension module. And the reason why we need to do this is because um, the Arcus source language does not include um, the extra functions for this um, for the Red Circuit Computer 4.0, so we have to import those. And to do that, we simply type import and then RC40E. Then if we um, create a new line, you can see that it's also been stylized, um, saying that you know that is the right way to do it. And what this will tell the compiler is that we want to load all of those libraries. And now all these libraries are internalized in the compiler, so we don't need to download any additional libraries, but we just want to tell the compiler that, hey, we are going to be using some of the Redstone Computer 4.0 specific code in our program here. All right, so now we are actually going to start programming here. So let's go ahead and just add a comment. Draw a smiley face on the RC40 display. And so a couple of things that you should know about um, how the graphics works here on the Redstone Computer version 4.0 is that first of all, this screen here is a 15 by 15 screen. So this pixel down here at the very bottom, then each pixel is a two by two segment of blocks. Um, this is zero, zero, or actually, excuse me, one, one right here. And then all the way up to 15 on the X axis and then 15 on the Y axis. So way up here is 15, 15 if you were to encode that into a coordinate pair. And um, the, yeah, so the display is 15, 15, 15 by 15, excuse me. And there are three different GPU commands that you can run. So you have GPU, uh, GPU encode point. We have GPU reset. We have GPU draw point, GPU erase point, and GPU granular control. So sorry, there's five functions actually instead of the three that I was about to say. All right, so you can read this manual here if you wanna know exactly what each one of these um, functions does. But just to put it simply, the GPU reset clears the entire screen so that it looks like, um, oopsies, didn't want that open. Um, looks like this, so it's a clean slate. GPU draw point will either draw um, 
a static val uh, a static point on the screen or an encoded variable and then you can encode two numbers into one um, coordinate pair using the GPU encode function and there's a race point which does the same thing as drawing except it erases it and then GPU granular control which is special because it allows you to write large amounts of graphical data to the screen per clock cycle so um, I want to show you guys um, the GPU draw point and the GPU granular and the GPU clear functions as well in this tutorial. All right, so to help us visualize what we're actually going to be doing with the GPU here, I have downloaded a little template for a 15 by 15 grid here. And if we zoom in here, um, that's about good here. So essentially what we're going to be doing, well, I guess it reset, is that we're going to be drawing a point at 4 comma 5, so 4 comma 5 right around here. And then another point at 12 comma 5, which is right over here. And then two points at 2 comma 3 and 14 comma 3. And then we're going to draw a line at the very bottom to basically create the smile. And so to do that, um, we're going to obviously, well, we're going to need some draw point instructions. And then to draw that line, we're going to take advantage of the, granu the GPU granular system, which essentially is this huge gray bus right here that spans the entire computer, this huge bus. We're gonna take advantage of that so that we can get it um, running in the least amount of um, lines of code possible. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, we're going to want to clear the display um, because there might be some images on there that we want to clear. So let's go ahead and let's just get that out of the way. Let's go to GPU clear. And then, um, so that is the function on clearing the screen. And now we're going to want to draw a point so we're going to want to draw a point and then now we're just we need to specify either a, an encoded variable that has our point which we do not have or a static or two static numbers that will basically tell us where to put the point and we have those and that point will be four comma five so this would be um let's add a comment here draw the left eye of the smiley face this is the left eye the singular pixel and now I want to draw the right eye, so draw the right eye of the smiley face. Once we have that, we're going to have another GPU draw point instruction. But instead of 4 comma 5, we're now we're going to have 12 comma 5. And here I'm going to go ahead and pull up our picture here again. Just so that, um, let, then we'll shrink this. And then I will put the smiley face thing on here with all of the references too. And now so I'll have the right eye, and now we're going to draw the first the left um, part of the smiley face. So draw the left pixel of the smiley face. And now we're going to draw another point at 2 comma 3. Now I'm going to draw the right pixel of the smiley face at, and we need another draw point instruction at 14 comma 3. And now we're going to finally draw the line at the bottom of the smiley face. All right, so now we're going to take advantage of the GPU granular update system. And to do this, this will take a little bit of explaining. So essentially, um, the granular update system allows you to send entire lines of image data to the screen all at once. And the way this works is that it takes advantage of this huge bus right here. And if you guys want a more detailed explanation you guys can check out my um, red to computer version 4.0 breakdown videos I'm pretty sure I explain it in depth there so what we want to do is that we want to create a line at the very bottom here of the screen that goes all the way across like this and the way to do that essentially is that we send um, a granular update request with this specific line here so we choose which um, Y position we want to update and in this case, it's Y position two, since we don't want it down here, but we want it up here. And so we want our line down here. So then we specify for the X, which is the entire row here, all the way through, we specify the specific pixels that should be on and off for this entire row. So here we would have a zero here and then one, and then ones all the way across to about here and then our um, zero here. So we will have an entire line here. I don't want to build it out because that might take a little while, but we're going to have an, an entire line here and we're going to accomplish that with one line of code instead of the like 13 it would take to draw every single pixel in that line. Okay, so to do this, first of all, we're going to need to type out our 
function here. So GPU granular update is the function. And now this function takes four arguments. If we look here in our um, instruction manual here, so we have granular data X, granular data Y, fill X, and then fill Y. So for our case here, essentially, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new document. Or actually, you know what, I'll just leave it here. So we want, um, for the granular data X, this is essentially the the, the specific pixels that are on and off um, for one row of pixels on the screen. And so since we want a line, um, let's just draw out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Since we have 15 pixels per row, and for the line we want um, 13 of them set, so then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we want the line to look like this with two um, pixels that are off on the edges. And so basically, um, this is what we want to pass into the granular update. And to do this, we're going to need to convert this to hexadecimal. So let's go ahead and open up binary to hex converter and just pull up the first one here. So this is our binary to hex converter. And what we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to pass in this binary value here, paste that in, and then hit convert. And now, as you can see, we have um, 0x3FFE. And we can use this here in our um, first argument for the granular data x, so 0x3, oops, 0x3 FFE, like, oopsies, like that. But there is also another way to encode this data within the granular update instruction. All right, so the second way you can represent a line here is by using what's called the fill x flag. And um, it's right here, this third flag. So let's go ahead and ignore granular data Y for now. So I'm just gonna put in zero for that. But essentially the fill X and the fill Y flags allow you to only specify one or two pixels within your shape. And then if you toggle that, it will fill everything in between. So as an example, if I go ahead and have um, draw our 15 pixels again on the row per, uh, um, per row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Instead of setting every single pixel that I want to a one, I can simply set the first pixel that I want to set to a one that I want to turn on and the last pixel and then specify the fill X flag by putting a one for the third argument here, which is fill X according to our manual. And what this and what the GPU will do is that it will um, interpolate everything in here and fill um, this X every single pixel in between the first pixel that's on and the last one that's on, it'll fill every single one to also turn on. So instead of having 0x3 FFE and then having fill X off with a zero, we can have, if we just convert this to hexadecimal here, we can have 0x2002, 0x2002 like that, and then a one for our fill X and then is exactly equivalent. And the same thing is true for the granular Y. So um, let's do um, for the granular Y data, granular data Y, excuse me. So um, let's think about it like this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 different rows on the display. And essentially the granular data Y is the same thing as the granular data X, but instead of for each row, it's which um, which rows on the display you want to update it to. So, for example, if I wanted to draw this line, since this plus the fill X bit means that we are drawing a line um, on just row two, then I would set it like this. And then this is our 15 rows here. But let's say instead that you wanted to draw this line, not just on the second row, and this is the first row in the very bottom, but you also wanted to draw it, let's say, on these last three rows. So then you would set these to also ones like that. And so what this would do is that it would take the granular X data for each row and then update this row here, the second row, the 13th, 14th, and 15th rows, all with this line that we've specified here. And then to actually encode this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is that we're going to have again just a representation of 15 zeros for each row. So first row, second row, third row, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. And so for this case, for the smiley face, we're just going to want to draw this line on the second row of a display. So we're going to set this second zero to a one. And now this is what, oopsies, 
And this here is what we want to convert to hexadecimal. So we're going to take this and convert it in here and we get 0x2000. So this granular Y data would be 0x2000 like that. And then the fill Y also works the same way as it does with the fill X. We just want to um, basically draw a line at the second row. Now that we've figured that out, now our GPU granular update command is finished. And this will basically, this basically says we draw a line which is encoded as 0x2002 and fill, fill X is set to only the second column of a display. All right, so now that we have all of our main GPU commands finished, we just wanna simply stop the program from running because once this GPU granular update and, um, line of code runs, then the smiley face is complete. So we just want to have our program exit. So now we have our entire smiley face program um, written in Arcus, so let's go ahead and compile it. So to compile, um, programs in Arcus version 1.0 that has um, an RC40 extension import here, we're going to need to do something special. Um, we're going to need to um, provide the compiler the um, Redstone Computer 40 extension resource. Um, so I'll show you guys what that does not look like. So let's go ahead and open up our core compiler here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pass in this source code program that we just made, this is smiley face. Um, to core one, right, it's on computer 4.0, and we're just gonna see if it compiles. And now if we run it, as you can see, we have a bunch of errors here. It says GPU does not match, GPU clear does not match variable syntax, GPU draw point does not match variable syntax, and then it basically errors out, and it says there's a syntax error. So essentially to remedy this, um, the, or rather the only way to remedy this is to import a resource, the Redstone Computer 40 extension resource. And to do this, we're going to need to create a new, a new folder. And this can be anywhere, not just um, where the source code is, but anywhere. And you can just call it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this resources. And to specifically enable the compiler to compile code that has this Redstone Computer 40 extension library um, imported here to be able to use these functions is by um, creating a file that's called um, the DRC HLLC enabler. So to do that, we're just gonna create a new text document, but then change the extension name too. And we're gonna, this is case sensitive and very specific. So you wanna call it redstone rc40e dot DRC HLLC dash enabler. And it'll ask you if you wanna change the file name extension and you can click yes. And now you have to pass this resource folder in to be able to um, tell the compiler to load in its that um, library because it is the library does exist but it's internalized within the compiler because it's an official extension so now I will show you what I'm talking about so if we go ahead and run our core compiler here and we pass in our source code program and then you want to compile to core 1 right to computer 4.0 and now we're going to pass in the resource folder as well which is right here and now we will see once we hit enter, the compilation succeeds and we have our program binary file generated here. Now, if we open this up, as you can see, we have our, <clears throat> excuse me, our file um, machine code here. And now that we have that compiled, we will go ahead and upload it. All right, so I'm going to be uploading this program via the data pack method that is present in version 1.1 alpha of the uploader. So we're just gonna go ahead and pass in our program binary file here, specify that I wanna to upload to core one, right to computer 4.0 and turn on um, up, um, cleaning the core first. So wiping all old program memory off of the, or wipe, wiping all program data, excuse me, off of the program memory for core one and then turning on data pack uploading. Now, if we hit enter it, we will have ourselves a nice little data pack here. And now we are going to go ahead and install this into our Redstone computer world by navigating to our .minecraft folder, saves, and then the world that your Redstone computer is in. In this case, it's this one, and then data packs, and then dragging this right into our folder here. So now it's been installed and we just need to run it to upload the program. All right, so I have the Redstone computer 4.0 world open here. And to basically execute our uploading data pack. We're gonna go ahead and reload the game, or not reload the game, just type in the command slash reload to reload all the data packs, excuse me. And now that we have our data pack loaded, we can tell because it has the, it said um, loaded data pack for program, and then this is the correct name of our program here. 
And now as you can see, we have some old program code in here. This is, I think, the multiplication program. And if we go ahead and um, spawn in our uh, legendary cow here, we can see that it's all disappeared. And then now we have new code in here. And this code um, is the binary representation of our code here. So now that it's been uploaded, let's go ahead and um, give it a shot, see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test out our program here. And this time I am gonna be using the debugger center just to show you guys how each um, line of code works here. So to enable the debugger center, we're gonna basically fly over here to the debugger center. And then we're gonna enable debug mode by flipping the switch, manually initializing the computer. And that will load in the first line of code. And now once we, um, and as you can see, we have debug mode enabled. And now once we run this command, it will execute the first line of code. And the first line of code that we have is clearing the screen. So if we clock the system, we may lag for a little bit. Yeah, as you can see, we get a lot of lag spikes <clears throat> because clearing the GPU is a very, or clearing the screen rather, is a very intensive task. And now that it's done executing, and we can tell because it says zero chunk updates up here in the corner, now we can go ahead and load in the next line of code, which is drawing a point at four comma five. So once we clock this, we should see a point on the display pop up. There we go, all right. So now this is our um, drawing point at four comma five. So if we see here, we have one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, since each pixel is two by two. And now the, the next line of code, if we clock the system, We'll basically be drawing the right eye. So this is the left eye and then the right eye should appear right over here somewhere in a little bit. There we go. There's the right eye. And now once we clock the system again, it should draw the left pixel of the smiley face, which should be down here somewhere. Pretty sure. If we give it a second to update, there we go. Now if we clock it again, we will be drawing the right pixel of the smiley face, which will be over here. We'll just give it a second to update to refresh, there we go. And now the next instruction is the GPU granular update instruction. And that will draw the line from here all the way across to here. And now we will be able to see this bus being utilized if we just clock the system. As you can see, we have some data going through here and if we, it's a little bit laggy, but as you can see, it instantly draws this entire line. And this is super useful when doing GPU, um, when you have applications that involve the GPU, because you don't have to then have like 10 or 12 different GPU draw point instructions drawing every single point on this line. You can just have one GPU granular update instruction that draws this entire line. And then if we clock the system again, it should just shut off. There we go, so we have our off indicator. And now we have our smiley face. And as you can see, um, it uh, drew out successfully, which is awesome. And yeah, so that wraps up this tutorial on how to create a program using Arcus that draws a smiley face on the GPU and utilizes most of the GPU's functions. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, and yeah, but until next time, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.